everything is on the same board. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to do something in the parks, and especially in St. Nicholas Park at the time. And that was actually about, started about 10, 11 years ago. At the time, the parks were used a little differently. So we erected, so they wouldn't give me like an overnight permit, and, but we were able to create something called the Blossom of Fiber Art, and we invited artists to create plant life and all floral arrangements using their respective medium. So if they were a quilter, a knitter, a crocheter, yada, 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 mm -hmm. you know, uh, Gail Edwards created lavender. And she even had one of the pieces, and, she, and they were in plant pots. Oh, wow. And the lavender, one piece of the lavender wilted over. So you see the dynamic of real plant, plant life. Um, Shimoda was in it. She did beadwork on her pieces. Um, now, these pieces were there throughout the day or, they or were overnight? There, or no, there? just throughout the day for two days on a Saturday and a Sunday in St. Nicholas Park. And we... On the so people in the park, it was like the plaza of St. Nicholas Park, and we all uh, we had a tent, and so folks would come by with whatever they were working on and sit on the grass and talk and create. Um, uh, there was a sister Omi who had oh, I know, Omi, Omi yeah. Gray, yeah, yeah, she brought her spinning wheel out. Sahara Briscoe bought her spinning wheel. Knitters, spinners, um, hand spinners, crocheters, quilters, the gamut came out. And we did that for about five years. Wow. A two day event. It was usually the last weekend in June. And so that was nice. Is there any uh, thought of resurrecting that? And did it stop because of the pandemic or did it stop yeah. because of just other reasons? Other reasons. I wanted to do something so much bigger in the park. And then over the years, the park...